Okay, well, from lost endorsements to a shattered marriage, scandal has cost Tiger Woods dearly. But investors with exposure to Tiger are paying a bigger price, up to $12 billion to be exact, so says our next guest. Well, here to explain the results of his study is Victor Stango. He is an economics professor at UC Davis Graduate School of Management. Professor, uh, great to have you with us. Uh, a very interesting study. I read the press release on it and, uh, and looked through uh, some parts of it. Uh, but I've got to ask you, I mean, how did you exactly arrive at your number of between five to twelve billion dollars? Well that range uh, is one that depends on the set of sponsors that you look at when you're making uh, the analysis that we did and uh, maybe I could explain just quickly what that analysis involved. What we did was to take Tiger Woods sponsors, the ones that we could find uh, reliable stock price information for or for their parent companies and track uh, the value, the aggregate market value of those sponsors over the period between uh, the first trading day after his accident, which was November 30th, mm -hmm. and December 17th. And so the, the high and end December of that 17th, range... December 17th representing uh, the week, I think, after he had made the announcement he's going to take an indefinite leave. That's right. So December uh, 11th was the day on which he announced his leave. And it, it looks to us like uh, after that, prices sort of settle in and flatten out for this uh, portfolio of his sponsors. And most of the big effects occur leading up to his announcement of the leave. Okay. So, uh, but get, no, go ahead. So get back to how you got these. Uh, but we don't have a whole lot of yeah, time. So, so, getting, so. so getting back to the numbers, what we did was we tracked the aggregate market value of those sponsors and compared changes in, in that portfolio to changes in the overall market and also to the competitors of those sponsors. And uh, for the full group of eight sponsors we looked at, the decline was around 12 billion. And for a smaller group, the sports-related sponsors like Nike and Electronic Arts and, uh, and Gatorade, which is owned by PepsiCo, the decline was around 5 billion. Okay, that's, in, well, that's interesting, but uh, how did you know, Professor, you know, how could you attribute all of that to Tiger Woods and not to other, uh, other market factors? Well, that's part of the statistical analysis that we did. It's, it's certainly possible that uh, random chance could have led all of these companies to uh, lose value in the days after the accident, but for this particular set of companies who uh, share nothing uh, or very little other than sponsorship by Tiger Woods, it's pretty unlikely that that pattern where seven out of the eight sponsors lost value relative to the rest of the market uh, would occur just by chance. Uh, and so the takeaway from this is, let's say Tiger Woods came back, uh, would he have the, the same type of impact on these companies or endorsements have the same type of impact? Uh, well, he, he, he may. I, I think the lesson for us is really for shareholders, which is to say that uh, while having a celebrity sponsor seems to be potentially a very good thing for the bottom line in, in many cases, it also creates downside risk. And so uh, this is just another element of risk that shareholders should consider. Okay, uh, they should indeed, and uh, certainly continue to watch uh, what, what goes on with Tiger. Uh, Professor Stango, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Professor of Economics at UC Davis Graduate School of Management. And that does it for me.